I've been really excited by uh, some of the stuff in Core Lightning around uh, bookkeeping. I've taken this much. I've learned this much in fees. I'm paying this much for liquidity because I bought things from zero fee routing and what, all those things, right? So as mundane as it sounds, actually having a structured output where you can go, cool, give me, you know, give me everything, all, all the expenses, my Lightning note, how much did it pay? How much did it make? You know, uh, the cool side is that you can take that data and turn it into like pretty graphs. Oh yeah, okay, cool. That's that's a really nice presentation side. Um, but and that data has always been there. But to have it in a structured way, the way an accountant would think about it, is one of those nuts and bolts things that makes it just a lot easier to adopt a Lightning Node and go, hey, maybe our business should have a Lightning Node. And you go, cool. And if you can if you can speak natively to the accounting department. That is far, far easier um, to integrate than going, oh, yeah, so I kind of, I've got this, you know, uh, I've got a screenshot of things that we did this year and, you know, like stuff like that, right? So just just that kind of dog footing stuff um, is actually really important. There's a new plugin manager. So, so one of the things about Core Lightning is we try to do as little work as possible and push as much as possible out to plugins. And there are a number of people in the community writing really cool plugins that do great things for your nodes. Um, but you know, to install one has been like command line and everything else. Um, so there's a new plugin manager called Reckless, which I think is a great name for a Lightning plugin manager. And you just say Reckless install and tell it the plugin to install, and it'll pull it in, set it up, configure it and run it for you. Um, so this will be the first release that has Reckless, um, which I'm hoping definitely helps grow the infrastructure. You know, more people writing plugins um, because Core Lightning, while mainly written in C, supports plugins in like Rust and Python and, and C and Go and a whole heap of other languages. So making it easier for authors to publish them and for, for users to go, cool, I'll just Reckless install this one liner, right? Uh, and eventually probably a GUI to just install all the plugins that you may want and help that whole ecosystem grow. So I'm looking forward to that kind of launching and, and getting out there. Bolt 12 is a big, a big thing that we're working on. Um, so this is a standardization effort for kind of the next generation lightning invoices and payment systems. But really what people want is a static QR code that gives them open everything. And they want a whole heap of more uh, privacy and anonymity guarantees. They want, it to be extensible so in future we can have like recurring payments and, and refund flow and all these things uh, that really, you know, we've, we've discovered from having, you know, a good a good five years of experience with uh, Bolt 11. So there's all that. Um, and it uses some some really cool new technologies like um, we, we always had onion routing for our payments, but now you can send messages. We always had payer anonymity. So you got the money, you didn't care where it came from, like you know, uh, which was good, but we never had vendor anonymity. So if you were receiving a payment, you kind of had to be pretty well known. Um, there were a few ways you could kind of tweak it, but really um, you didn't have this strong vendor anonymity. And that's, you know, obviously that's a nice thing to have, but it's particularly important in the refund case, right? So cool, you're all anonymous and everything, and I pay you, and then you go, actually, we're out of widgets. I need to send your money back. Well, now you have to send me money, but without strong anonymity guarantees, I'm like, well, I have to dox myself to get my money back, right? So this is obviously the kind of thing that you discover with practice and something that like Bolt 12 helps with. So um, we've implemented that like quite a while ago as a draft. And more recently, it's been picked up by a couple of other teams, uh, both uh, the Lightning Development Kit team and Eclair have jumped on, oh, yep, we really want to implement Bolt 12. How, the, the blockchain question is always, how do we reduce trust requirements? How do we increase your ability to verify, right? These are, there are two, two, two things that we have. Like we look at everything and we go, hmm, can we do that with less trust? Can we do it with more verification? So uh, that's always been the green model as well. So uh, the green model is like, okay, you know, we, we will assist you in managing your funds, but at the end of the day, we can't spend them. We can't control them. And we, we were not going to implement Lightning in a way that compromised that vision, right? We needed to have your keys, your coins. Um, we will help you, but it was never acceptable for us to have any way of vetoing people's funds, right? So how do we build that on Lightning is it was a really, really hard question. And the answer to that, frankly, was green light, right? What if we provide the infrastructure, but again, you're doing all the signing on your device, you're, you've got control. And so there's obviously a green and green light story in here, which I think we'll be hearing more about as, as both of those products mature. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely the direction we're headed.